Hey everyone, welcome back, Blue Riser here. So, it's been a while, but uh, we're doing another character breakdown. We're going to do the basic boys. Last time we did the basic girls. Well, we didn't do that last, last episode. But anyway, basic boys is going to be Shoji, Sero, and where are you? Where are you? Shoji, Sero, and ah, this guy. I forgot his name. Ojiro. Ojiro. So, I guess we might as well just start here with Ojiro. Okay, so Ojiro here is an attack type. Let's see, he has 4,000 attack, pretty pretty high attack for a 4 star, to be honest, but he has low defense, low health, low SP, he can't even do two special attacks at once, so overall, not that great. And of course, these are the basic characters, so they aren't going to be that great anyway. Now, his, what is that, his death blow is Teolu Ataku. Okay, so his death blow is he attacks with his tail, and it increases his attack. Uh, just a little bit after he does it. His characteristic is obviously attack 10% up. So overall, he's an attacker. He's really meant to just deal damage. Okay, so next up we have Sero here, who is a defense type. He's got overall pretty good stats. At least his uh, defense is 3,000, 3,000 plus, and his attack is 3,000 plus. Now, I mean not attack, his health is 3,000 plus. His attack is lower, but easily fixable gadgets. So his attack death blow is tape shot, which he shoots his enemy with his tape, and for around 5 seconds or so, their attack is lowered, which is good enough. And then from technical types, aka green types, he takes 15% less damage. So overall, decent. He's basic as you can get. Next up we have is Mezo Shoji, whose attack death blow is a basic death blow, he just attacks you. And his characteristic, HP up 10. Now he has lots of health, he is listed as a tank type, and instead of a dodge, he actually has a defense. So instead of dodging, he guards, which is cool enough. But you can see the little uh, shield right there at the next to his tank. Okay, so here we are, we're here with Sero. This is his character model. Alright, Sero's a weird looking character to me. He, out of all the class, I don't know, I don't like his design the most. I don't particularly care about his character either. Which, you know, I, I'm sure he'll have his time to shine. But there's obvious characters who are just cooler or have more attention to them when you look at class 1A. Now, sorry, also sorry that the last sentence I stopped on before we jumped to here was cut off a bit. That's my fault. I already know in editing that that's going to happen because I didn't finish the sentence and now I'm here recording already. It would be a pain in the A to record again. But anyway, let's try to use this attack. Let's do it right now. It's some tape shots, alright. Cool enough, I guess. Great, oh, take these guys out. Quick. Boom, boom. And we're done. Okay, let's check out his combos over here. I believe it's like four to five attacks. One, one, two, three, four. Yep, four. I wish he used some tape in it. One, two, three, four. No tape at all. That sucks. Okay, here we go. We're doing some more. You know. Let's try to use this tape out again. I want to see if I can get it at the perfect aim. Let's try to move here first. Guys, stop shooting. Okay, this should take out. Let's see. Oh, I thought he... It was like a pan. It's not really. It's, it's a cone, but not that accurate. Let me try again. Let's go over here and find some new enemies. Okay. Let's do this. And... Okay. They're not spawning. There, this is perfect. Let's try it. Here we go. Yeah, it just shoots kind of in forward. In, forward. <laughs> in front of him. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Roll. It'd be cool if he did, instead of like a roll, he would do like a tape shot. Like just a small aesthetic thing. It doesn't have to be like an attack or anything. Just maybe tape shows up and he just like zips over. That'd be really cool. Oh, okay. There we go. And let's take you out. God, enemies so much. And Kirishima is already dead. I want to have to unfriend this person, whoever he is. <laughs> I don't know who they are. There's, I'm pretty sure I have lots of followers or people I'm following who just don't play anymore. I'm pretty sure this person doesn't play anymore. Let's go. Yay. Now, I believe Sarah was listed as an attack type. Yeah, I believe so. Yep, there we go. Come on. Ah, oh, shoot. No, he's not. I think he's... Now I gotta look back at it. I'll mark it, I guess. I'll just leave a capture. Yay. Oh, shoot. I can't move. Sometimes it 
the the game just doesn't let me move. It sucks. All right, cool. All right, let's move on to the boss. I should be able to take him out pretty easily. Now, all the other enemies have died in one shot, so I want to see if I can actually lower this character, this character, this boss's um stats. One, two, yeah, I did. So it does lower his attack. Yeah, it's good enough. There you go. And we're done there. Let's see his uh outro. He looks so weird. Okay, next up is Mezo Mezo Shoji, I believe that's his name. Uh, another weird kind of character. He has an interesting character design, and we also have a cheerleader Momo. Someone actually had her as a, a leader, which is cool though. Anyway, let's move on. I don't particularly, I don't like any of these basic characters at all. Out of the three, like as, as characters, I'm not talking about like in this game. In this game, they're not that great, but still, I, in like the aspect of My Hero Academia as a series, I don't really like Mezzo Shoji that much. And I mean, if there's hardcore Mezzo Shoji fans out there, please. Please, please be loud. I don't, I don't know. But, I mean, I'm glad they're in the game. I'm glad they didn't just opt them out for, like, support cards or something. Which would be silly anyway. They need fodder, um, summon characters. Okay, let's go ahead and see. He hits hard. Let's see his attacks. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two. Is that it? No way, right? One, two. I'm tapping as fast as I can. He only does two attacks. What? Let me, let me try again. Maybe if I'm hitting enemies, it'll look better. Let's try. One, two, one, two. Oh my god, it is two attacks. That's cheapish. What? That's kind of lazy. That's that, that's actually a bummer. You you could give freaking Saro an attack screen, right? A four attacks. You can get every other character, Jiro, but Shoji's just gonna get shafted like this? What the heck? I can't ever imagine if Ko Koji's in the game. He's kinda useless though. In all honesty, unless they want to animate like animals attacking. By the way, we haven't used a special, so let's go ahead. Tentacle tackle. Not that great looking. It's just a dash. Let's try it on a bigger group of enemies before we move. Alright. Come on, there we go. Tentacle tackle! Okay, so it's just like a mad rush. Well, this character ended up being disappointing. I wasn't, it's not like I was expecting much out of him though. Like, in all honesty. I, I get his quirk and stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have um, a guard. Let me just try. You have to, there we go. Like, like you're dashing, when you swipe it, it's a guard. I th the Tokoyami has the same one. I forget which one though. If you go back to the Tokoyami, my Tokoyami breakdown video, we covered all three of them. Uh, it'll show you which Tokoyami has a guard. I'm pretty sure it's EX, but I could be wrong. So, don't quote me on that. Let's do it. Tackle? Alright, tackle. Yes, come on. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. Get out the way. There we go. Tackle! Oh, okay. Ouch. Two. And we're done there. Let's see his outro. Hmm. He might have three attacks. That one punch, but it, it doesn't matter. They all kind of look the same. Nothing really sticks out. Alright, next up is Ojiro, a character who always makes me laugh. Only because when you think of the absurdity of him, like, oh, he has a giant j tail. That's it. That's all. It's just a giant tail. And when you think about it, it's like, who is Ojiro realistically going to beat outside of another martial arts? Or close co uh, close quarters quirk user. He's not being Todoroki, that's for sure. Shoot, he didn't beat Shinzo. I mean, of course, Shinzo's power is pretty uh pretty devastating to people who who are unaware of it. But even then, like, Oyo's not gonna beat anyone, and I feel for him as a fellow martial artist. I feel for him, but still, it's like you get shafted with the power selection. Anyway, let's go ahead and see his combos. One, two, three. Four, five. Overall, really cool combos. Better than the last two we had, who don't utilize anything about their quirks at all. Like, Shoji could have at least had, like, a wing slap or something, or a wing. Something like that. But at least Ojiro has, like, his tail, and he does this cool little pound at the end of his combo. It's, it's awesome. 
Of course, the other ones just aren't as impressive. It's it's a shame. It's obvious which characters are just meant to be in there as filler. Odro's meant to be it too, unless he gets EX anytime soon, which I doubt it. I do believe all of class. Oh shoot. I do believe all of class um, 1A will get a second card. So Ojiro will get a second card somewhere there. He'll probably get like some special event card or something. Like New Year's or some something like that. Something weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and try his... So, hey. His skill. Okay. So it's around. And there's our attack up, by the way. Great. It's only for five seconds. It's super short. So if we do it here... Oh, shoot. Let's see. Alright, decent damage, and decent range too. Now, if the range was even bigger, now, if there was a gadget that increased special range, that'd be amazing. Oh boy. That attack would be pretty devastating in, um, groups. That'd be really cool. Let's take the boss out, and then we're done here. So we're gonna go use the special, increase our attack, then try to use the special again. Let's try it. Try that. There we go. And let's zoom out. We're really close. Oh no, May, you're killing them all. There we go. Bang! And then, again, it's only five seconds, so I have, I have a lot of time. There we go. It's, it's cool. It's strong. I just wish... One, two. It sucks, because basic characters, or characters that you know they didn't put a lot of time into, they just do their combos as their finish it's a shame okay so that's it for the basic boys let's go ahead and scroll down to find there's shoji i think shoji will be in the middle so we'll do him last anyway let's see what we, we in what would we do to improve hanta i bit my tongue hanta sarah i would say go for defense yeah go for attempt offense and then with his special attack he can slow down enemy i mean lower enemy attacks Increase his defense, lower enemy attacks, switch out, have a high damage dealer, do that kind of thing. Honestly, that, that's all I can really say for him. He's not that great of a character. Obviously, none of these basics are. But if you were just given the short card and you saw, hey, I need someone to back me up besides like the basic Deku or something, there's a chance for this character? I wish he had his helmet. That'd be cool. I would say go for, what is that, Mashi Rao, Mashi Rao, it's not even Mashiro, it's Mashi Rao, it's... anyway, for him, uh, Ojiro, go for attack, make him a glass cannon, yeah, make him a huge glass cannon, use his special, increase his attack, and then use it again to deal heavy, heavy damage, he's gonna probably die pretty fast, so, if, as long as you increase a bit of his defense, but, I would say really go for a glass cannon build for this guy. And then last one, Mezo Shoji. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the character, <laughs> so I don't like him that much. But he does have a lot of health, so I would say go for, to increase his defense. Uh, other than that, that's all I can really go for. Most of the characters, I would say increase defense, but uh, him in particular, go for that. It, it would just take too much work for gadgets to increase his, uh, his attack all by itself. Going for a defense at least helps with his shield um, move, where you swipe and you activate his defense, his guard um, skill. If you have more defense, you'll easily block more attacks, since he can't dodge. Okay, and that's it for the basic boys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I don't know who we're going to cover next. I'm still waiting for like the next banner, or what's the next uh, EX battle going to be. But this is easily here to fill in for spare time, since... You know, we have to wait for those kind of stuff. Anyway, what do you guys think of the Basic Boys? Any one of them your favorite from the show or from the game itself? Just your general opinions on these three characters. And definitely, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.